Hi there. Let's continue our learning. 56. Question. Crick may, while disagreeing with Davis, supplemented penny plane with the terms. The correct option is A. Pan plane. As we have already discussed these questions in the previous module. This is a a repetition of a question so Krikme replaced the word penny plane that is given by Davis with pan plane Krikme gave the term pan plane for a plane formed by flood planes joined by their own growth penny plane is produced by down wasting of inter stream areas moving to the next question 57 which of the following is a strongly presumptive of fault as scrap this question already has been discussed this question has been discussed earlier so this is also a repetition of the question it is a kind of revision so there are four options the correct answer is a poor correlation between rock resistance and topographic forms that is a strongly presumptive of fault scrap we can recall from this diagram and the picture this is a fault line and this is a fault scrap and in real pictures the fault scraps look like this okay now okay moving to the next question which one of the following is not a glacio fluvial depositional feature there are four options came horn Asker Drumlin. Correct answer is B. That is horn. Horn is not a glacio fluvial depositional feature. It is a erosional feature. It is a glacio fluvial erosional feature. Horn is due to erosional, not depositional. The depositional features are came, asker, drumlin. We have already discussed about askers. So, try to observe this diagram from the NCRT. We have already discussed this sinuous ridge is called asker. How askers are formed? We have already discussed. And this is a drumlin. It looks like half egg beneath the surface or it is also look like inverted spoon sometimes when drumlins are in large number that landscape is called baskets of egg topography and the other option important terms in the options are came this diagram or image source it is a came it is a depositional feature whatever tills are comes due to glaciations are deposited here that is came and the horn then what about horn it is a erosional feature this image this is a very popular image this is in Switzerland very recent as world grapples with the coronavirus pandemic even going through this phase Switzerland has been sending out messages of hope love and empathy this lightning of Tiranga or the Indian tri-colored national flag on the matter 
Horn Mountain that is in Swiss Alps so this is a horn it is a, it this type of horn is made due to erosional feature it happens due to glaciations leads to erosional that is horn so what was our question which one of the following is not a glacio fluvial depositional feature so horn is not a depositional feature it is a erosional features and depositional features are came askers drumlin okay moving to the next question which of the following arrangements of pleistocene ice is is in a correct chronological order there are four options the correct answer is c gunj mindel ris worm or war this is a correct sequence of pleistocene ice age so how you will memorize or remember this now see this this is a mnemonic i have created you can create your own mnemonic g mr war w war that comes in last g guns first then mr m represent mindel r this w war now try to understand from this this is geological time scale the longer duration of period is aeon then era then period then epoch epoch has holocene pleistocene we here we are talking about pleistocene in pleistocene we are talking about ice ages there are four ice ages in pleistocene from 10000 to 2000 million this epoch represent 10000 to 2 million years okay so in pleistocene there are four ice ages gun mendel ris worm so after worm it comes holocene that is a epoch so worm means this is the last ice age that is the in pleistocene worm is the last ice age i am focusing this to make you remember worm because we can connect worm means hot that me that should be in the last so here guns mendel ris worm so in pleistocene there are four ice ages guns mendel ris worm then comes the epoch holocene now even new epoch has been coming in pictures that some researchers and scientists are calling it anthropocene anthropocene means because humans has created lot of disturbances has changed the geological features and environment of the earth so now the new epoch has been come out that is anthropocene okay moving to the next question that is the last question of the day assertion and reason that is also a revision type question deep chemical decay of rocks is one of the outstanding features of humid tropical regions region intensity of chemical weathering depends to a large extent on abundance of water and higher air temperature so there are four options c is the correct answer means meaning both assertion and reason are true and r is the correct explanation of a deep chemical decay of rocks is one of the outstanding features of humid tropical regions it is true in humid tropical regions deep chemical decay happen why 
and the intensity of chemical weathering depends on water abundance of water in the form of humidity or in other forms liquid form even water is itself a liquid so don't get confused and higher air temperature which means lot of water and temperature act as a catalyst for deep chemical decay that's all thank you so much